So the biggest delay holding back the finale of the window TV is actually that my office is in no state to do a, a finished showcase of my office. Fortunately, we can all thank Dyson for sending over the 360i robotic vacuum. Thanks to this guy, I'm gonna be doing a video today where I clean my office using this vacuum cleaner and then start working on the finale. Let's try it out. We're still a long way away from robotic vacuums that actually pick crap up off your floor for you, but uh, I mean, the good news is my crap on the floor is very first world problem crap. Um, this is pretty cool. This is our new like wireless uh, HDMI to networking streaming doodad. But I can definitely, oh, dang it, I just broke the box. I don't invite these disasters, you know? I'm a victim here. I gotta get this stuff out of here if I'm gonna try to vacuum. Ah. Oh man. Wow, now that I'm close up, it is really dirty. Um, oh man, see this is what happens when you like do a bunch of construction in your office and then never actually like clean it after. This room is disgusting. Look at it. You can see me cleaning. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, that was heavier than I, <laughs> that was heavier than I thought. Got me. You can clearly see me addressing the problem. This is like when I come into your office and I'm like, Colton, you, the, these sales numbers are terrible. And you're literally on a sales call. <laughs> okay. So I think we're ready for the next stage. Now, this unboxing, total lie because we actually already had it open once before, but basically you get the uh, reminder to get the Dyson Link app. So I'm gonna grab that, it's on the App Store and Google Play Store. A lifestyle, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess cleaning is a lifestyle if you're my wife. Not by choice. I mean, I clean too, just to be clear. Really digging a hole for myself here. This robot vacuum, great for vacuuming. Mr. Mrs. Miss Ms. Doctor Professor Lord Lady Sir Captain Commander Colonel I don't know, Lieutenant Colonel, Major, Rabbi, Reverend, Sister, and whatever can is. Well, I'm Canadian, so I'm gonna go with that. Global navigation with app level help and support. Assign a name or location to your Dyson machine. Cool. Add your machine. Robot vacuum. Step one, confirm your home Wi-Fi network. So Dyson claims that their design gives it two times the sucking power of other robotic vacuums. And this was collected in one run the day after our cleaning service came in. Like, there's large objects in here. So either this thing's awesome or we need a new cleaning service. Oh, why did I do that? Or both. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna, oh, uh, I mean, we're gonna vacuum it back up. But... Whoa, check this out. This thing's got like tank treads on it. So this is apparently, oh, they actually, <laughs> they actually call them tank tracks. So that's apparently so that it can actually climb small inclines. This thing's freaking high tech, Dennis. So we've got a uh, power plug and then we've got, this is one of the coolest features. So this is the little self docking point. So it actually uses computer vision to see this pattern and then you just go ahead, plug this into the wall. That's where the name comes from, 360i. It actually uses the 360 degree camera here, not only to navigate around your room and plot itself a good course after the first time, but actually to find its dock and then go dock itself. I need to figure out how to get connected to the Wi-Fi though. So it's charging, oh, what the heck? There's a USB port in here, check that out. Ah, there it is. Wi-Fi information, nice. Enter the eight digit password found back here. Okay. And we're connecting to Wi-Fi now. We figured out what that USB port is for. It's for performing firmware updates or resetting your Wi-Fi. 
So I can set a schedule to get it to do this every day. I can get it to clean. Cleaning fact, your robot has cleaned 10 meters square. Can you believe it got that much crap out of 10 square meters? Oh, neat, it like mapped out what it did. There you go, start it like that. You can't cut. You can't cut now, Dennis. Wow, listen to that thing go. I'm always fascinated by these kinds of things. It actually sucked up all this stuff, even though it only got about that close to it. So one of the things it does is look like it's randomly moving around the room, but what it's actually doing is dividing up the space into segments before cleaning each segment systematically. Okay, well I think all that's left to do is uh, let my little robot butler here deal with this tonight. I'm gonna go play some badminton and come back and have a look tomorrow. Okay, so here it is, next morning. Had my night of the living uh, robot cleaner deal with the office here. And actually, for one pass, not bad. Not bad at all. But, the real test, because I'm truly a lazy man. And I want my robot cleaner to clean not just the floor, but also the desk. I mean, look at this desk. It's horrible. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's my network switch. Cleaning my mouse pad. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's on the really dirty, oh, okay. Now this is the way to clean your mouse pad. Oh, is it gonna dock now? Is it done? Not bad, little 360i. So come in here and have a look. Yeah, that, that one's glue. So that's not fair to judge it based on. Okay, missed a little bit of glitter in this corner. But overall, man, that is a lot better. I think the most impressive thing was how it like navigated through and managed to climb over all the cables and stuff around over here. Did a great job of cleaning the mouse pad too. So thanks to Dyson for sponsoring our video and thanks to you guys for watching this little showcase of the 360i. You can learn more about it and you can get your own at the link in the video description. Also down there is the like button, sorry, above the description. Dislike button, also not there, that's above the description. Uh, subscribe button, that's also not there. But, oh, oh, what you will find in the description is a link to our merch store where you can get cool shirts like this one and our community forum.